In the name of Almighty God, the most gracious, the ever merciful. May I begin this short talk by again warmly extending to you the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace, prosperity and blessings of Almighty God be upon you all. Over the past two years, I've had the absolute honor of serving as the president of the British division of the Amdiya Muslim Youth Association. And for almost two and a half decades, since when I was a skinny 15 year old as an unassuming servant of the same youth association. Much has obviously changed since then. And so in my capacity as president, it gives me great pleasure and as, as well as humble privileged to be able to address you here today to discuss what we do at the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association and how that relates to the recent film, Innocence of Muslims. In the association, the office bearers who form part of its executive do not hold positions of power. Rather, they hold positions of service and are thus charged with serving not only the members of our association, but the wider Ahmadiyya Muslim community and the great British society at large. This is because the spirit and foundations which underpin the Amdiya Muslim Youth Association are rooted in the service and betterment of mankind. As I hope you will come to see, this is by no means a fanciful or idealistic mission statement, but a reality that lives, breathes and evolves within the association with each and every new day. This is a very ethos that the Holy Prophet of Islam, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, called for when he stated, the best charity is to promote goodwill between people. Over the past half an hour or so, you have been offered a snippet into the life and noble character of the Islamic world's most beloved. Despite the majestic and heartwarming example of the Prophet, some might point out, and somewhat justifiably so, that while the description of the Prophet is in no doubt praiseworthy, However, he lived centuries ago, whereas we now live in a world wherein the, wherein the living example of Muslim appears to be far removed from that of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Furthermore, that surely the true testament of the Prophet's truthfulness rests not only in how he, in how he acted, but also in how his teachings were able to be, to, in how his teachings were able to positive positively impact the generations that followed right up until the present day. For example, following on from the recent film Innocence of Muslims, we were all witness to and desperately shocked by the violence that erupted across the Muslim world. A tragic reaction which resulted in the loss of innocent life and destruction of property, showcasing the very worst in human dignity. Those reprehensible atrocities carried out by thousands of misguided individuals are by no means representative of a Muslim population which exceeds 1.6 billion people worldwide. Nevertheless, there still remains a distinct suspicion and concern over Muslims and Islam in the Western mind. Over the remainder of this talk, I aim to alleviate such concern through highlighting the work and peace the work of peace-loving Muslims who have been tirelessly contributing positively towards British society in a manner that can be very distinctly contrasted with the aggressive example of a minority of Muslims, a minority that popular media would unfortunately have us believe is representative of the majority. I aim to highlight a sustained and growing contribution of an, orga an organisation which, which began long before the birth of Osama bin Laden, Abu Hamza, or any of the other individuals that have been propagated as the archetypal Muslim. An organization that builds schools rather than destroys them, that helps the destitute rather than abandons them into a spiraling caste system, that fights for a woman's right to self-determination and education rather than to suppress it, that defends the nobility of Islam and its prophet, peace be upon him, using the power of the pen and reasoned intellect rather than aggression and grenades. 
a people which has embodied at its core the timeless epitaph of His Holiness Mirza Tahir Ahmed, the fourth caliph of the worldwide Amdiya Muslim community, when he stated, swords can win territories, but not hearts. Force can bend heads, but not minds. The immediate response of our association to the film Innocence of Muslims and the subsequent caricatures published by a French magazine was to challenge the misuse of free speech instigated by, the, by their architects. Unfortunately, recent attempts to malign the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, are not isolated, but a crude and vile attack on the Prophet in a long line of uncivilized acts of clear provocation. Cowardly and contrived in nature, these attempts to provoke discord and disunity in the world go against the very spirit of, speech, of free speech and reasoned intellect. The right to respectfully pose difficult questions about what is considered sacred by others can and does add value to society. However, malicious vilification and ridicule is far removed from anything remotely civilized. We were also quick to denounce the violent reaction of some sections of the Muslim world to the film with our spiritual leader, His Holiness Mirza Masur Ahmed, the fifth and current caliph of the Amdiya Muslim community, taking the lead in calling upon those who, who had contravened Islamic law through their aggression to desist in their, in their actions and vent their anguish through many peaceful avenues outlined in the Quran and prophetic example. As a world leader of millions, His Holiness has been consistent in guiding our community's position in relation to these types of uncivilized reactions. In 2006, following the Danish cartoon controversy, His Holiness took the lead in calling for peace when he, when he openly stated, I, I, I also say this to those who are known as Muslims, any, whether, they, whether or not they are Ahmadis, Shias or Sunnis, or belong to any other sect of Islam, when the person of the Holy Prophet is attacked, rather than exhibiting momentary passion, burning flags, causing damage and destruction, and attacking embassies, they should reform their deeds instead. Do they believe that setting fires, God forbid, is all that demonstrates the honor and station of the Holy Prophet? And by burning flags or burning the property of an embassy, they have, they have had their revenge? No. We are the followers of the Holy Prophet who came to put the fire out who was the ambassador of love and was the prince of peace. So rather than take harsh actions, actions impart his beautiful teaching onto the world. While we stand by a right to call for reason, restraint and common sense during these types of controversy, it is our conviction and firm belief that the prophet of Islam, peace be upon him, established a more lasting and proactive methodology by which, Muslim, by which Muslims could best address those who are intent on creating strife by maligning Islam and its noble prophet. A proactive response tempered by mercy, love and empathy, which was reaffirmed at the turn of the 19th century by the founder of the Amdiya Muslim community, His Holiness Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Qadiyan, the promised Messiah. Put simply, we believe that Muslims should not limit themselves to being reactive in the face of controversy. As a community and as a religious body, Muslims must proactively throw themselves into the selfless service of humanity, regardless of their faith, gender or creed of the recipient of that service. Our actions, both as individuals and collectively, must be transformed into a living and visible embodiment of the mercy and love that permeates through the very heart of the Quran and the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. These are the very high ideals that the Amdiya Muslim Youth Association works towards with each and every new, na with each and every new day. Through an ever-evolving program of community and chari charitable activities, we work tirelessly to engage the thousands of young British Muslims that form our membership and the millions across the world in activities aimed at adding value to the communities that we all coexist in. The purpose of these activities 
is to engender in young Muslims a spirit of discipline, loyalty and service to the wider community, irrespective of, pe of people's beliefs and backgrounds. By way of example of just some of the types of activities the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association undertakes in the UK, over the past 12 months alone, our members have fed thousands of homeless people in city centres across the UK, raised close to a quarter of a million pounds for several important British charities, stood shoulder to shoulder with World War II veterans to raise tens of thousands of pounds for the Royal British Legion, donated over a thousand units of blood sufficient to save over 3,000 lives, planted more than 5,000 trees across the UK as part of our commitment to the Holy Prophet's call for Muslims to protect the environment. Spent hundreds of hours supporting the terminally ill in hospital, in hospitals, the ailing, children's, the ailing in children's hospices, and the elderly in nursing homes. Held dozens of interfaith meetings and exhibitions across the country aimed at bringing communities closer together, and cleaned streets and neighbourhoods across the UK for the betterment of the area. An important point should be also be made clear in all of this, however. Though the activities I have outlined would give one a tangible sense of achievement and a feel-good factor, our members have not participated nor offered their time and spent their own money for this purpose alone. <coughs> Let there be no confusion in the fact that their service to mankind is something that they consider a fundamental part of their faith. To us, this is not the big society in action, but it is the very essence of what we do and have been doing since the, youth since the youth association began in this country decades ago. Obedience to Almighty God and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, necessitate that a, practi that a practicing Muslim shows no bounds in his or her desire and efforts to help others. It is by this method we believe with every particle of our being that Muslims are best positioned to address the foul-mouthed and uncivilized protagonists of the anti-Islam movement. And it is for this reason that when the British media asked us if our members would take to the streets in protest against the film Innocence of Muslims, we answered them resoundingly that our protest, if it is to be termed as such, will be found in our prayers to Almighty God. Praise of the praiseworthy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and increased effort to help our local communities. Not in anger, nor the ignorance that is to be found in a weapon, but in the power of our intellect that we channel, out, that we channel passion through our pens and keyboards. This is our modus operandi. And this is how we believe Muslims can proactively highlight the ignorance of the, of the ignorant. The onus is then placed upon the non-Muslim world to evaluate whether or not it is reasonable that free speech should be manipulated and misused so as to ridicule a man who is most beloved to almost a quarter of the world's population whether or not it is conducive to peace, that, pro that provocative speech and actions should be defended with such vigor. Having briefly outlined our position, I, no I not only call upon all goodwill people to push for greater respect and dignity in society, but for you to join us in our activities and become part of what we believe is a reasoned response. I thank you all for your time and conclude with a supplication recited daily by every man, woman and child in the Islamic world in their daily, in their daily prayers. Bless, O oh my Lord, Muhammad and the people of Muhammad, as you blessed Abraham and the people of Abraham. You are indeed the praiseworthy, the glorious. Prosper, O oh my Lord, Muhammad and the people of Muhammad, as you prospered Abraham and the people of Abraham.
You are indeed the praiseworthy, the glorious. Thank you. To keep up to date with the latest videos from the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association, subscribe to the MKA UK Videos YouTube channel. Or for more information about the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, log on to www.alislam.org.